Hey guys, so uh, I'm here in my spray booth and uh, here at school and I'm going to do the second part of this um, nylon sculpture, wire sculpture thing that I've been working on, okay? Um, so we're here in my spray booth. There's a lot of ventilation. It's really strong. Um, I'm gonna turn that on right before I start spraying and it's gonna be pretty loud, okay? So you probably won't be able to hear me. Um, so I'll kind of do a little introduction and then we'll just go ahead and do it. Um, whenever you spray, the best place to do it is outside. Okay, that's always the best best place to do it. The wind will just kind of carry it away. It's the by far the best spot to do it. Currently here in Iowa, it is negative two degrees and it is cold, very cold. A lot of snow on the ground. Uh, it's like a frozen tundra. I'm not going out there to go spray this thing. Not doing it. Uh, so I'm going to do it here um, in, in my uh, spray booth here at school. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let me show you what we got here. Okay, so um, this is obviously what I worked on last time. Okay, and uh, we made it and then I kind of had to go real quick. So I finished painting it with uh, the red acrylic. I put two coats on there. Okay, that way it filled all of the nylon, okay, it's very porous. So putting that acrylic paint fills in those pores and makes it more solid. Now this is obviously still kind of squishy. You can still kind of move it. It's going to be like that, okay? I mean, you'd have to put on a lot, a lot of acrylic to make it so it wasn't squishy. It's just kind of the way it's gonna be. One thing I noticed that, that, that I would do differently is I would attach this later on, okay, instead of doing it before I painted because you can see I got quite a bit of paint on the bottom. I wish I had it, had done it done this after it had dried completely with all the painting then attach it. Next time I'll know better and I might even replace it place this later on but just something to think about okay. So what I've got is a cardboard box. Cardboard box is going to be kind of a way to, of containing um, the paint so it doesn't go all over the place. Um, we'll use that um, and it really helps I found that really helps to kind of reduce the amount of um, stuff that gets in the air okay and I'll be having my mask on as well and these are my masks for sale okay so um, what I've got here is I got some uh, some chrome spray paint and to open these things up what you need to do is take a some kind of screwdriver you gotta, you gotta put it in here, either in the hole or underneath it. I had, I already kind of broke it. Had to put it in there and then pry it off. Okay, they are almost impossible to get off with just your bare hands. Okay, unless you're like the Hulk or something. I don't know, John Cena. I don't know. Okay, so you're gonna take this. You want to shake it up really good. Okay, now I shake this up before we start the video. I don't gotta do much more than that. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take it and I'm gonna kind of be spinning. Look, can't see it. I'm sorry. And I'll be kind of spinning it as I go. I'll get some on my hands. That's okay. Uh, stuff washed off soap and water if you move real quick. And if it doesn't, it'll come off eventually, okay? Um, using rubber gloves would probably be a good idea, but I get dirty all the time, whatever, okay? So um, that's it. Let's do it. Just like that, got ourselves a sculpture. I'm going to put just a little bit more kind of on the edges, places that I see looks like could use a little bit more. Then I'm getting out of here. There's a lot of fumes rolling right now. Woo!
Okay. To me, it looks like it's done. I'm out, guys. <laughs>